Hello. In this lecture, we will be seeing about alpha system, minimum phase system and non-minimum phase system and their related phase characteristics and we will make a comparison among those systems. Welcome to the lecture. What is an alpha system? An alpha system transfer function has pole zero pattern which is anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis. That is, for every pole in the left of plane, there is a zero in the mirror image position. Right? So, I am taking a transfer function. This is an example. So, 3 minus s by s plus 3. What is the zero? I equate the numerator equal to zero. So thereby, I get s is equal to 3. So, there is a zero at 3. Then where is the pole? I equate the denominator 3 plus s is equal to 0. So, s is equal to minus 3. Okay, so, there is a 0 at 3 and the and pole at minus 3. That is what they are saying. A pole 0 pattern which is anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis. If you take the, this is the imaginary axis this is anti-symmetric. This side I have pole. Equally this side I have the zeros. Again they are explaining for every pole in the left of plane every pole in the left of this is your left side right there will be a zero in the mirror image position so if i keep a mirror mirror here there will be a corresponding zero in the right side okay so this is an this is an this thought of a transfer function is called all pass system such systems are called all pass system okay so I'm, i can write in another way taking three outside from the numerator and denominator i can write it in this fashion right in place of s i have substituted j omega that's your frequency response Okay. Now, generally, this is an example I have given, right? Here, in 1 by 3, I can replace by T, capital T. Similarly, uh, this 1 by 3, I can replace it by um, the same T, right? So, I, this is the general form. In general form, alpha system is 1 minus j omega T divided by 1 plus j omega T. Okay. Then, what about the magnitude? This is the magnitude. Magnitude, you know, square root of uh, real part square plus imaginary part square, denominator is same. So, magnitude is always 1. What about the phase angle? Tan inverse of minus omega t by 1 minus, since the denominator, we put the minus sign, tan inverse of omega t by 1. And we know what is the range of uh, tan inverse, right? Tan inverse ranges from 0 to 90 degree. Here, tan inverse minus is there. So, minus 0 to minus 90 degree. This tan inverse is from 0 to 90 degree. So, for a minimum phase angle, minimum phase angle means omega equal to 0. Omega equal to 0 means this is 0 degree, this is 0 degree, so it is 0 degree. What is the maximum phase angle? If I put omega as very high value here, since this minus sign is there, this is minus 90. Here minus, this is for another 90. So, minus 90 minus 90, it is minus 180. Okay. So, for an all path system, the pro important property is magnitude is always 1. The phase angle is from 0 degree to minus 180 degree. Okay. This is a property of an all pass system okay and there will be an poles and zeros in the in the right and left off of the right side left side we have the poles equally we have the uh, mirror image position we have the zeros in the right side okay right now we move to the another sort of system is called minimum phase system okay if a transfer function has all poles and zeros in the left off of the s plane then it is called a minimum phase transfer function right so all poles and zeros should be in the left side okay right uh, should be in the left side so see what is s plus 2 what is the 0 s is equal to minus 2 there is a 0 at minus 2 then look at the denominator equal to 0 s plus 3 is equal to 0 s is equal to minus 3 i have a pole then s plus 4 equal to 0 s is equal to minus 4 i have a pole right i can take uh, uh, this uh, two outside here denominator 3 and 4 outside i am taking right so it becomes 1 plus s by 2 1 plus s by 3 1 plus s by 4 okay so, uh, this 2, 3 into 4, I am multiplying. So, 2 by 12, I am writing it like this, right? writing it like this, right? See, all are the same format, right? This is some way of representation that is important, right? Okay. This is an example I have given. Now, what I am doing is, I am replacing this 1 by t with a constant t1, 1 by 3 with constant t2, 1 by 4 with t3. This 2 by 12 becomes 1 by 6, that is a constant that is not going to contribute any phase angle. So, I am just ignoring this constant. So, this is the general form of minimum phase system, general form of minimum phase system. Here also I am replacing, right? What I have replaced? 1 by 2 is, uh, 1 by 2 I have replaced with T1, right? So, 2 becomes 1 by T1. 1 by 3 is with T2. So, it becomes minus 1 by T2, inverse, right? So, 1 by 4 is T3. So, 4 is 
minus 1 by 3. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, minus 1 by T3. Fine. Now, what about the magnitude? So, this is the magnitude. We are not interested in magnitude. We are only going to see about the phase angle. That's why we say minimum phase system. What is the phase angle of this term? It is tan inverse of omega by omega T1. For this term, denominator, so it is minus tan inverse of omega T2. For this, it is minus tan inverse of omega T3. What is the uh, range of each term? For tan inverse, the range is 0 to 90. This is 0 to 90, this is 0 to 90. When omega equal to 0, the minimum phase angle is equal to it's 0. If I substitute 0 here, I get 0 minus 0 minus 0, so it's 0 degree. If I substitute omega equal to infinite, what I will be getting? Infinite means I get 90 degree, here 90, 90. So, 90 minus 90, another minus 90. So, the maximum phase angle is minus 90 degree or in radians I can say minus pi by 2. So, for a minimum phase system, the important thing is, important thing you remember is all poles and zeros will be in the right side and the phase angle will be between 0 and uh, omega equal to 0, I get 0 degree. Omega equal to infinite, I get a phase angle as minus 90 degree. So, phase angle is between 0 and minus 90. Okay, these two things is essential for a minimum phase system. Okay, next we move into a system called non-minimum phase system. Okay, what is a non-minimum phase system which has one or more zeros in the right half of the S-plane? Remember, zeros can be in the right side, but poles cannot be in the right side. That is very important, right? If the poles are in the right side, it becomes unstable. For a non-minimum phase system, one or more zeros can be in the right side. Okay, so. Right. Now, you observe this 2 minus s, okay, 2 minus s, s uh, divided by 2 minus s divided by s plus 3 into s plus 4. What is 2 minus s? So, uh, if the 0 is, s is equal to 2. So, 1, one 0 is in the right side. So, s plus 3, s plus 4. If I will equating the denominator to 0, I will get the poles at s is equal to minus 3, s is equal to minus 4. Okay. Simil I can write it this in a standard format like you can do 2 and denominator 3 and 4 outside it becomes 2 by 12, that is 1 by 6, it becomes s by 2. Okay, these are simple max, right? In place of phase, I am substituting j omega. Now, what I am doing is, I am generalizing things, right? Instead of 1 by t, I am putting t1, 1 by 3, I am putting t2, 1 by 4, I am putting t3. Okay, so I can replace here also, no. 2, I am replacing with 1 by t1, 3, I am replacing with 1 by t2, 4, I am replacing with 1 by t3. Now, this is the magnitude, then phase angle for each term, right? Phase angle for these terms, I have written, okay? Right. Now, we observe closely, what is the phase angle of tan inverse of minus omega t1? It is going to be from 0 to minus 90 degree, right? For minimum phase angle is 0, maximum phase angle is minus 90. For this, tan inverse of tan inverse of positive term is 0 to 90 degree. Okay, right. Now, uh, what is the minimum phase angle? If I put omega 0 here, each term, if I put omega 0 in each term, I will be getting, just a moment, Yes. Okay. Uh, omega is 0, I will be getting the phase angle as 0 degree. If I put omega as infinite, omega as infinite means the phase angle for this term is minus 90. For this term is 90. For this term is 90. So, minus 90, minus 90, another minus 90. So, the phase angle is minus 270 or in radian scale, it is minus 3 pi by 2. Minus 3 pi by 2. Okay. In radians. Right. Okay. Now we are going to see the phase angle characteristic. Right. Okay. I'm, I have plotted all the phase response of the, all the three systems. Right. For a minimum phase system, the phase angle is zero to maximum is ninety. For an all pass system, the phase angle is zero degree to maximum is when omega is increasing. Right. This is the phase angle. I have marked in degrees. Okay. For regular line goes up to maximum is minus twenty degree. For a non-minimum phase system. The minimum phase angle is 0 and goes up to minus 270 degree. Okay. Now, we will see, we will again quickly refresh things, right. So, this is my system G1, G2 and G3. Okay. Uh, what about the poles and zeros? Here, all poles and zeros in the right side, right. 0 is at uh, right side, right. So, 0 is at minus 4, pole is at minus 3 and uh, another pole is at minus 7. So, this system is your minimum phase system. So, this system is your minimum phase system. Minimum phase system. Okay. Right. Now, what is G2? 
what is g2 is 4 minus s and divided by 4 plus s what is the 0 4 is equal to s is s is equal to 4 then the pole is at s is equal to minus 4 so 0 is in the right side the mirror image is in the left side or mirror, and the pole in the le uh, left side will have a mirror image of the 0 in the right side right so this is an all pass system this is an all pass system okay right now you look here uh, this look at this right okay it is having zeros in the right side but poles are in the left side so this is an example for non minimum phase system non minimum phase system okay non minimum phase system now you observe closely what is the relation between g1 g2 and g3 if you look at the phase angle right this is minus 90 this is minus 180 if i add these two i will get minus 270 right if i add zero for all i get the zero right so likewise i can say non minimum phase system is a combination of is an addition of minimum phase system and all pass system if you look so i can say it's like multiplication right phase angle is added magnitude is multiplied right so if you look at it closely if i multiply these two Okay, multiplying these two terms right what happens this 4 by s 4 by s gets cancelled so 4 minus divided by 3 plus s divided by 7 plus s okay so this is the thing a non minimum phase system non minimum phase system is equal to a product of in laplace transform right in s domain product of minimum phase system and and all pass system or else i can say non minimum phase system can be expressed as a combination of minimum phase and all pass system very important right very important relation okay now something like caution you should remember right okay it's like um, here i have taken uh, a 3 minus s by 3 plus s right what is the 0 0 is at 3 here i have taken s minus 3 by s plus 3 where is the 0 again s is equal to 3 0 wise it is the same for both the cases 0 is at 3 for both the cases 0 0 is at 3 but they are different how they are different is pole zero pattern is the same if you take the pole zero pattern for both the cases it is the same magnitude is also the same right but look at the face angle look at the face angle right face angle of this term uh, if I put j omega in place of s, if I put j omega in place of s, right, it is uh, it is in what quadrant? It is in the fourth quadrant, right? Because uh, j s plus j, it's in the fourth quadrant, right? In place of s, I am putting j omega. If I put j omega here, it moves into j omega minus three. It moves into which quadrant? Second quadrant. So for these two terms, though their pole zero plot is the same magnitude is the same but the phase angle is different this is a very important right this you keep in mind okay so this is an example for all pass system but this is not an all pass system because phase angle is not going to minus 180 degree okay that's it thanks for listening do subscribe the channel share it share it with your friends any doubts you please put in the comment section i am happy to help you thank you